Congratulations, Madam. You are the breakthrough talent of the year. Your Instagram post has been really filled with great social issues. Keep up the good work. Many, many congratulations. And uh, let me start. Thanks let me lot, start brother. by giving you the trophy which you kindly deserve. <laughs> so, how's been going? How, how how has been the lockdown? Tell me how things with you. Um, everything has changed in the lockdown. You know, the world as we know it has been on pause, and uh, it's a new world now. So yeah, adapting to the changes and uh, keeping, you know, pushing the limits often. Tell me something. What was the first? What was the first incident that made you, you know, uh, that made you think about speaking about the social issues? The first incident. No, uh, the first one is that there was a murder of a girl that happened in Chennai in a railway station. You know, in the early morning. And uh, there were so many people around her, and uh, not really many tried to stop that particular murder. So it was more of an angst, a social. Uh, you know, you are part of the society, and you see something like this happening in the society. All of us have that fire in us somewhere hiding. So one day, I just realized that I can post it on the internet so that someone who is like me in some corner of the world might resonate with the same thought. So I posted it, and I claim that a lot of people resonate with the same idea. Mm-hmm. I know. So, what are your future plans? Are you currently working on some exciting new content? Is if so, what all will be the next video all about? I have recently started my own channel in English too. So earlier I used to have just uh, the, the Tamil channel. So there is a new English channel. So the next goal is to go global, talk about issues that are globally acknowledged and recognized. Because I think uh, as our generation of millennials grow up it's a big one big world you know you don't have borders we are living in a world without borders we have friends across different parts of the world we have uh, you no know, relatives in different parts of the world so i think uh, as one global community we have so many social issues such as climate change there are issues where uh, poverty is universal so there are a lot of issues that we can talk globally and uh, have to work together globally so that's my next big goal that i have to start doing the kind of issues you talk about are sometimes controversial do you get a backlash for that and how do you like censor it or how do you manage it not really i mostly favor what the public says i i have a so for, you know i think all of us all of us are deep down very emotional and are very righteous so when i ex, when i when i express that thought i don't take any sides i don't have any political uh, influence or i don't have any particular ideological influence so when i'm just a common person who will just talk to you no know, i'm just a friend you can talk to i don't have any agenda or anything so when i talk like that people actually accept me and people understand that i'm just voicing out their opinion in a bigger platform that's all so now uh, is this what you do for a living like now this is your full time or do you have something else also no no uh, this is my full time now yeah i'm a digital of content creator and it's it's a huge business so i mean no complaints about it <laughs> Okay, I'm sure your audience will be very curious to know about what Madan Gauri's phones look like. So we'll play a game called "What's on Your Phone." The first question is one app that you can't live without. YouTube. The last thing you Google. I don't know. I have to check. I'll check that. Please go <laughs> ahead. That's, that. a, that's the whole idea. Remember. Okay. I have. I have. Uh, I have Google for today's news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so you're looking for your idea of content, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, least used app on your phone. Paytm. Paytm. Okay. Yeah. What was the last time you set an alarm, or do you like get up, program yourself, and you get up on your own? No, no. I set alarms every day. There are like okay. five or six alarms. I, I I set alarm for everything. So even for the, uh, this even right, I set an alarm. So okay. everything is an alarm. <laughs> Your your most frequently used emoji. I don't know. Again, okay, I have to check. I think heart. Sure. No, heart. Love. Easy. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Your current wallpaper. Show us your wallpaper. Show the phone. I don't have a wallpaper, so so it's crazy. I just have a black screen. <laughs> okay. I I don't like wallpapers. I like a black screen. <laughs> Can you imagine a day without your phone? I have tried and I have not been successful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Madan. Thank you so much for your time and once again, many congratulations. Keep doing your good work. We need we need content creators like you who are socially aware and who are trying to make a difference or trying to make some noise, try to make news relevant, try to make issues relevant. Thank you and keep up the good work. Okay, Madan.
See you. Thanks a lot, brother. It actually means a lot to me that uh, you know this award. This is a very very special award for me. You know, uh, and uh, I I like the way it is even done with the hashtag. So it 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 is it is definitely going on top of my uh, shelf. And, uh, thanks a lot for the award, and I, I and I follow exhibit very often. So uh, I appreciate the uh, uh, magazine that I love is uh, giving me this award. So thanks a lot. Great. Brother. That's so nice, brother. Thank you so much.